Ahava and blessings. Happy new moon in the sign of Pisces. This new moon is kicking off eclipse season. It is one month before the eclipse, the full eclipse that is happening, that is transiting through the U.S. and other parts of the world. But it's a it's a very powerful full new moon. The eclipse is on the full moon. It's a very powerful new moon. It is happening in the sign of Pisces at 20 degrees. And 20 degrees is the number two. And two is all about divine union. Two is receptivity. Two is embodying the divine feminine. Two is two is the high priestess. Two is our connection to the divine. Two is two is divine union. It's coming into union the divine. It's unifying the masculine and the feminine within you. It's transcending duality. And we live in a world of duality. This is the, the game that we signed up to experience. Other realms are far more simpler to navigate. They have less contrast. But our soul chose this world, this earth, to incarnate at this time so we can remember our unity, embody our unity, and activate that in our world, in the earth, in the environment, because there is no separation. We see ourselves, because we're in this physical vessel, as being separate from one another, from the earth, from the cosmos. But we really are one with all that is. Everything is a mirror and an aspect of you. Everything and everyone, every experience is shedding light on what is it that we need to do? What is it that we need to work on? What is it that we are looking to manifest and birth into the world? Two is the high priestess. The high priestess is standing between two pillars. One is dark, one is light. She is the vessel through which the infinite light of the divine incarnates and manifests into the physical realm. This is a powerful time for manifestation. And with manifestation comes creating space, purification. There is a lot of conjunctions happening in the, the cosmos right now. So let's see. We have the sun conjunct the moon, which is the new moon. But not only that, the sun is conjunct Neptune. Neptune is the planetary ruler of Pisces. Pisces is all about going deep within. It's a deeply intuitive, a deeply emotional sign. It is a sign of the two fish, so duality again coming into unity. It is about transcendence. It is about merging into the unified field of consciousness, into the god, goddess, the void of all creation coming back to our home. And that is our home. So the two is also the home. The two is corresponding to the bait. And if you've heard me speak in the Magdalene Monday activation, I talk about the bait. And the bait is about the home, not only your physical home, but your physical vessel, your body, the home for your soul to express and to deliver the gifts that your soul came here to share. So these activations, um, so we have Neptune conjunct the sun, we have Saturn conjunct the moon. Saturn is the taskmaster. Saturn is all about discipline, structure, getting things done, moving yourself forward. And Saturn, most people don't think of it as a planet that brings prosperity, but it does. If we work with Saturn in a way that we are fulfilling our mission, our soul contract, then Saturn blesses us with gifts. And Pluto is in the mix, of course. Pluto is sextiling Mercury, communication. We have a sextile between the Sun and Uranus. The Sun, Neptune conjunction, and Uranus in Taurus. We have the also another sextile between Saturn, the Moon, and Jupiter. So there's a ton of energy for awakening, for expansion, for fulfilling your mission, for creating the structures that you need to anchor in your highest self. 
it's it's a free for all in a way, and it's very divinely oriented. Everything is happening. Hi, Husky. I wish you could see him. He's kind of majestic, and there he goes. <laughs> You're in my shot. Okay, sweetheart. Okay, you gotta move. <laughs> so now that my husky has graced you with his presence, yes. Again, of course, he's the black and white one. One blue eye, one brown eye. So again, he's reminding me of the importance of the oneness coming into unity. It is not about like the masculine being better than the feminine, feminine, vice versa matriarchy, patriarchy, all of those are illusions that we cling to in order to keep us in a low vibrational state, to keep us in fear, in judgment, in anger, in operating from the three lower chakras. And what we are looking to do is we are looking to activate our connection to the divine because that is Pisces. So what we're going to do is I'm going to share a couple of practices we can do. Pisces rules the feet. So we're going to ground our energy. And <laughs> we are going to ground our energy with a little bit of breath work. And then we're going to do a sound activation. And yes, we're going to do a mantra as well. The mantra is going to be Ana El
since I received them, we're going to do the mem. The mem is one of the mother letters in our name. Gently bring the arms down. You can inhale deeply. And exhale. Bringing in that wisdom of the water.
other drum. Oh, apologies, sorry. The frame drum allows us to really receive the chokhmah, the shahina, the wisdom. So I hope that my playing wasn't too um, terrible. You know, it's, it's a practice, as everything in our lives are. But I just felt the need to share that mantra with the frame drum. So have a blessed Pisces new moon remember to ground and anchor the energies journal pay attention to your dreams eat nourishing foods drink plenty of water if you would like a longer sound activation check out my website the podcast sound activation as well as a longer um, well actually a channeling and a more in-depth um, reading into the energy of this Pisces new moon will also be on my podcast. For the sound activation, of course, please do it on a platform that does not intersperse ads into the body of the text of, of the video. So my website, you can listen to the sound activation and the podcast episode the, that goes with it for free. Um, and I think you can also do that on Apple podcast and I think Samsung, I'm not sure what other platforms also do not put ads in the body. Um, that is very, very important when you do a long sound activation that you're actually receiving all the benefits and not some other squirrely energies. So have a blessed new moon. Ahava, if you enjoyed this, subscribe, share with people who you think will be inspired and enjoy this. And of course, comment below and let me know where you received the energy, whether it was for the mem activation, for the sound, or the mantra. Ahava.